The terrestrial snakes usually eat insects other than mammals, not because they're easy meals, but because they're enriched with proteins. But there's one insect that it hopes all day long to never come across. They're mantises. Despite the mantis's small size, they're pretty accurate and efficient hunters. But why are snakes afraid of mantises? Welcome to our channel. Without further ado, let's get started with why snakes are afraid of mantises. The answer is damn straight. It's because a mantis can easily kill a snake and the snake can't even do anything about it. No, I'm not saying that it can kill cobras or anacondas, but I'm talking about snakes that are shorter in length. An adult mantis can be as big as 5 inches and can easily prey on a snake measuring 12 inches long. Or in simpler terms, it can prey on an animal or insect that's three times its size. So it can't prey on bigger snakes than 12 to 15 inches. And even if it does, it'll become a life and death situation for the mantis. But hunting a snake is not their priority. It's not because it's a difficult task for them, but only because they love proteins. In short, they are protein hunters and will mostly hunt those animals or insects that are enriched with proteins. That's the reason why when a mantis hunts a hummingbird, it only eats its brain. This is something true for male mantises. However, when it comes to female mantises, they can be pretty devastating. A female mantis will hunt whatever it sees or thinks that it can feed on, especially if she has eggs developing inside her body. In this case, a mantis will most likely attack a snake or bigger animals. Besides the snakes, mantises can go for anything like lizards, frogs, hummingbirds, etc. For a mantis, they're easy targets. Once it gets a hold of any of them, it's impossible for them to break through. The same is the case with snakes. But hey, what tactic does a mantis apply to kill a snake? So next up, we'll demonstrate to you how a mantis kills a snake. For those who are naive to mantises, they aren't poisonous. So in order to kill a snake, it'll have to use its front legs to incapacitate the snake or any other animal. Plus, it'll have to plan an ambush to catch the prey effectively. The hunting starts when it's hiding on the leaves or the trunks, it's waiting patiently for the prey to approach him. Once the snake is on its radar, it'll take significant time to plan its attack. Before the attack, it'll calculate the possibility of a successful hunt. After that, it'll calculate the speed of the snake it's moving on. Once it's all calculated, it'll calculate the speed required to snap the snake properly. It's such an intelligent and complex task considering it's just an insect. After so many calculations, it'll furiously strike at the snake. As the mantis is fast and the attack is properly planned, it'll never miss its target. For striking the snake, it uses its front limbs to hold the snake's mouth. As their front limbs have spikes and are very strong, the snake won't even be able to close its mouth. But as precautionary measures, it'll keep its mouth as far as possible from its body. Like I said, a mantis is not venomous. It'll have to weaken or injure the snake. So for this, a mantis will start eating the snake just below its head. In other words, the mantis will start eating the snake alive. Defensively, the snake will try to coil itself to break free and squeeze the predator into yielding. But for the snake, it's sometimes impossible to break through. Finally, the snake dies because it was being eaten alive. Just after its death, the mantis will leave its head and move on to the middle body for a better meal. This seems so scary, right? Being eaten alive? Well, this is the only way a mantis hunts. It eats the prey alive. Considering they can be so deadly, even to snakes, what makes them so powerful and efficient hunters besides their intelligence? So next up is, what incredible abilities do they have? The first one is, they have great vision. Unlike other insects, mantises can actually see in 3D. I mean, not like humans, but more differently. The placement of their eyes makes them see at a wide angle. If this isn't enough, each of their eyes has fovea, which helps them in focusing on a target and tracking them with sharpness. The second great thing about them is their head turners. Not even the placement of their eyes makes them see at a wide angle, but they can even turn their heads 180 degrees. As a matter of fact, they're the only insects that can do that. Just when you know it's enough, most of the time it's not. Just like the case with the mantises. They can turn their head without even turning their bodies. It makes them extremely sneaky while hunting for food. The third one is their natural arson lupin. 
I mean the master of disguise. They are extremely good at disguising themselves as similar to their surroundings. The beautiful pinky looking flower you're seeing right now is actually a species of mantis that sits behind the flower and waits for its prey. I mean, who can say that this pretty good looking insect is one of the best and most efficient hunters? This green mantis sits on the plants. But hey, what about autumn where there are no leaves and flowers? While in this case, they'll molt themselves to look black and brown. They're so good at disguising that sometimes insects come to collect nectar from them. Their fourth quality is that they have superpowers. No, I'm just kidding. They don't have superpowers, but they are indeed super insects. In ancient Greece, Egypt, and Assyria, they were thought to have supernatural powers, while the name mantis also comes from Greek, which means prophet. The fifth one is that they can fight bats. Bats are some of the species that hunt mantises, so for self-defense, some species have an ear down their abdomen. This single ear helps them echolocate just like bats, so when a bat's near, they can easily detect their location and get out of there. But if for some reason they're caught, they can use their front legs to slash their way apart. But this abdomen ear is found on some of the exotic species. That's why they become an easy hunt for the bats. Considering they can go after anything, and just watching them hunting and feasting gives you goosebumps, what'll happen if they come after you? Will the mantises hurt you? Now, I wanted to mention this question because there are so many people suffering from entomophobia, which is sometimes also known as insectophobia. Although proper research hasn't been conducted, but a book suggests that around 6% of Americans are suffering from this phobia. This isn't a small amount. It means 20 million Americans are afraid of insects. But let's jump to the main question. Will they hurt you or attack you? The answer is no. I hope you would have found some inner peace after finding out they can't hurt you or attack you. They are human friendly. They won't hurt you or anything. They're very trusting. They'll even mount you because they like the heat of the skin, but only if you let them. For them, attacking you is like going after a tree. But for people who like messing around with animals, if you provoke them or make them angry, they'll come after you because they aren't afraid of anything. But don't worry, they won't be able to hurt you. Even if they start biting you, you'll feel a twitch. They won't be able to penetrate your skin. So you're safe with the mantis in your house or in your hand. Like I said, coming after you is like coming after trees. So it doesn't make sense. Even if they see you, they'll just cross you. Just like you cross a zebra line. And to make things even more fascinating, many people have mantises as pets. Well, I'm sorry to say, ladies and gentlemen, but you've reached the end of the video. Now, if you have any thoughts circling in your head, feel free to mention them in the comments section. If you adored our video, press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos. We'll see you in the next one.